Now to a follow-up of a story we've been following since Friday. The man accused of stabbing four people in Newport News and setting their bodies on fire is fighting extradition from South Carolina. Meanwhile, the father of the children who were killed is talking with 10 on your side. Jason Marks has his heartbreaking story. Jason. Yeah, Alvita, Michael Burton says he wasn't in his kids' lives as much as he wanted. They lived miles away with their mother, but that doesn't make the pain any less. It can describe how I, how I feel right now. Friday, there was a terrible tragedy almost 400 miles away from the home of South Carolina's Michael Burton, a tragedy that changed his life. This is something I never thought it happened to this family. I thought this was TV stuff. Burton learned that this scene in Newport News involved his own family, his ex-wife, Crystal Reagan, along with his three children, Sierra, Rashid, and Laquan. They were all found dead inside an apartment. Even though I didn't see him in a while, but part of me is gone now. Burton says he and Crystal Reagan split up a couple years ago. So hey, whatever I do now for being honor of my kids. Police say Crystal's husband, John Reagan, stabbed her and the children before setting them on fire. Reagan was arrested at his parents' house in South Carolina just a couple hours after their bodies were discovered. My kids had reached out to this whole town. Everybody here knew them. So it's not only a tragedy to us, it's a tragedy to this whole, the whole community right now. As the community continues to rally around Burton, he tries to come to grips with what happened, why his kids are no longer around. A family, kids, whatever you, whatever a person's going through, you know, you don't need to take it out like that. That's just a, that's an evil, hateful person. Ten on your side learned John Reagan was once convicted and spent time in prison for murder. If you do something once, you do it again. A sobering thought for a father who hopes this time Reagan won't ever walk the streets again. I, don't know, and I know they say you don't put the worst it's on your worst enemy, but if my family's torn right now. I, his family has to be torn too. Now, Reagan is currently fighting extradition from South Carolina. Newport News police are asking for a governor's request, meaning Governor McDonnell will send paperwork to the governor of South Carolina, Nikki Haley, asking to allow police to go down and Reagan bring him back to Newport News. The process could take up to three months. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.